Press in the spindle lock control knob to engage it. Then place the wooden support under the chuck and use the chuck removal key to move the chuck counterclockwise. A pin inside the chuck slides into the bayonet slot on the taper nose spindle to secure the chuck. Before placing the 5C collet in the spindle, clean the mating surfaces with a rag first and then your hand to remove all debris. Once the collet is in place, turn the shell guard toward you to thread the collet into the spindle nose. When the collet is tight, insert the material you would like to machine. Then move the lever to the far left position. When proper tension and gripping pressure is achieved, loosen the tension and press the latch into a notch on the gear inside the shell guard. Once the latch is secure, reapply the gripping pressure. Unlock the spindle and you are ready to begin machining operations. When you are done using the collet closer, return the machine to its original orientation. Disengage the latch on the shell guard and while holding the collet with your right hand, rotate the shell guard away from you to unthread the collet. Remove the collet, then lock the spindle. Thoroughly clean the mating surfaces with a the rag, then your hand to remove lint and excess oil. Then slide the chuck over the tapered nose and firmly turn it clockwise once it reaches the bayonet slot. If these surfaces are not clean, the chuck will not be safely and securely held in place. Lastly, unlock the spindle. Here are some important things to remember. Clean all mating surfaces with a rag and then your hand to remove all lint and debris. Make sure the spindle is unlocked before turning the machine on. The chuck needs to be turned on the tapered spindle nose opposite the intended direction of rotation. For most operations, the chuck will be tightened clockwise and rotate counterclockwise while running. Ask shop staff to check your setup to ensure it's safe. And don't forget to clean your work area when you're done machining.